Hello Space Engineers, Wellington6012 here and welcome to a short uh, information and explanation video for my new mod rationalized build menu. And look, there it is on the Steam Workshop, link will be in the description below. So yeah, I've um, put lots of bits and pieces in here about the mod and why I've done it and what it actually does. Uh, this is a list of the changes I've made, so you can have a look through that if you want. But I thought I would do this uh, short video just to go through what the actual changes are and maybe a little bit of an explanation of why I've done it. So, uh, first of all, the mod itself is... Let me just bring up the data files. So these are the data files for Space Engineers. And the one that I've changed, made a copy of it and changed it and turned it into a mod, is the block variant groups. So this is it here, I've um, moved things around and this is the original which is still in the game. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is what I've changed. And if we get out of that, go into here, uh, we'll go into this view since so this looks a bit better than me. Uh, so first of all, into the G menu and this is the existing vanilla version. So that's from that original data file. And uh, yeah, Keen has obviously just updated it for the contact update. And there's some really great things that they've done. The way that things have been split up, um, the DLC blocks. Uh, if you're looking for something specific, I think it's so much easier to find them um, using this file structure, shall we say. Um, but on the other hand, it hasn't been completely all well received. Because there have been some other little uh, annoyances about some of the way that things have, have been changed around. Um, yeah, so there's there's a l I feel like there's a lot more groups than there used to be, and some of them are quite small. You know, like you look at this, it's only got the freight cut containers in. So pretty quickly you start filling up your your nine lots of nine toolbars, and uh, I'm certainly at that point where I can't fit everything in. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to uh, rationalise it down, and I feel like make it a bit more intuitive for uh, what I sort of what I need. So with the magic of editing, here is my rationalized version. So what I think I'll do is I'll just quickly go uh, top to bottom, left to right, uh, and go through the changes that I've made. So there's there's three sort of key things that I've done. I've duplicated some blocks so that they appear in multiple places, which um, usually is just where you would actually expect to use them. Like for instance, uh, for instance, for instance, I tend to find that uh, whenever I'm using these blocks, quite often I'm using the small connector. So I've included the small connector in this group here. And that way, yeah, it's in there. And it's not a big group, so I don't think it matters too much having having uh, that extra one in there. However, it still exists in the connector set as well. So we'll find it there too. So there's duplicates. Um, there's things that I've moved. So... Uh, and chances are actually got rid of the group that they're in. Uh, for instance, the ramps group that doesn't exist anymore, they've been mixed into, I think, the ladders, and I've put the stairs in amongst uh, in amongst the catwalks, because that's where I use the stairs, is with the catwalks normally. And the ramps I've put up into the interior blocks. So that's the, the duplicated, moved, and then there's reordering, which I'll tell you about momentarily because we're going to come to that. So, uh, the light armor blocks, this is only a small group, so I thought that I would put duplicates of these uh, these ones in here as well, the, the panel slopes to go with these, because quite often I'm using these at the same time that I'm using these. Uh, with the round slopes, I've also put these in here as well. Now they have been moved here, so I took them out of this light panel group. So we've still got the square ones, but I took out the curved ones, uh, just to make this group a bit smaller. So you can sort of see the mentality which uh, I've used. Uh, this group here I have reordered, so that um, these ones and uh, go from smallest, widest, whatever you want to call it, um, sorry, from largest, widest, down to smallest, narrowest, um, because they were out of order, just something that's been around for a while. I uh, haven't made any other changes. I mean, I've done that to both heavy and light armor. Haven't made any changes. Uh, this one, I've added those ramps in. Uh, here, I've added the normal ladder to the ladder as well. So that's a duplicate. It still exists down in this group. Um, but I've added that one in here. And vice versa, this ladder I have put into the ladder group. So you can see, uh, it kind of makes sense what I'm, what I'm talking about, I hope. Uh, that one, I haven't done anything. 
uh, that one is the same this one here so when I'm building I tend to use all these decorative blocks all together so there's some duplicates in here and there's some that I've moved in here so you can see it's all the stuff that I normally make my habitation living quarters out of um, as I say some are duplicates some are not uh, the small grid uh, the bed was not in here so now the beds in here so yeah that's that I uh, haven't done anything with the consoles the tables hang on get back in the large grid tables are still the same at the moment uh, panels oh, I think panels I might have put the end caps in yeah I've put the end caps from the conveyor group uh, the weapons rack I put a duplicate of the crate in here and yep that's that uh, nothing in neons passages are fine doors I've included the gates in amongst the doors because yeah doors a door you know uh, I didn't change the airtight hanger door I thought I'd keep that separate ducks are the same I just combined the cover walls and the catwalks it's personally it's something I hardly ever use these ones so I don't mind them being all in the one group the catwalks I've already talked about put the uh, put the stairs in here as well rails are the same ladders we've talked about cockpits cockpits and the control seats are all in the same group uh, did I put seats in here I think yeah I put the passenger seats in here as well so that's a thing um, yep yeah, passenger seats are uh, the passenger seats are duplicates I believe because I put them somewhere else bridge helm it's new uh, the remote control has got the remote the cameras and the AI blocks um, so the cameras are a good example that whenever you put a remote in you kind of need to put a camera in so that's why it's in the same group and that's where it used to be um, and then all the AI blocks are in this remote control group because you pretty much use them all together it makes sense it's only eight things makes sense to have them all in the same group batteries unchanged solar is all energy production so that's uh that's what's in there and keen have already done the thrusters for me they've already done the ammos for me and they've already done the aisles for me uh gyroscopes i'll put the parachute in just because i hardly ever actually put these blocks in so i figured I may as well just share a group uh, wheels are the same and survival kit has all the medical room stuff as well and the props so that's uh that's all in together refineries very seldom do i actually put a refinery down you know it's not a block that you use every five minutes so i've put the refineries and the assemblers and the yield modules all in the one group so I think that makes sense. It's again not a big group to scroll through, even with all those things. Uh, welders now, the block tools still the same, except the drill has now got the ore detector next to it. Because whenever I build a drill ship, I always forget the ore detector. So I figure that's as as good a place to put it as any. Um, I may even duplicate it if there's enough feedback with the gyroscopes as well. Uh, projector is still fine the lights I have combined the uh, search lights with the normal lights interior lights I've also duplicated the truss light which now lives up in this category um, but it's duplicated in here where are we lights okay um, that entertainment unit got duplicated up in the, the kitchen one so for the for the props uh, exhaust pipe and vents I mean they're basically the same thing you know so put them in the same group why not uh, beacons and uh, decoys and um, antennas all in the same group because they kind of all live together um, certainly you know ones for transmitting stuff but you know the the pirates and things do get triggered by uh, antennas quite often um, and yeah they kind of all work together I guess cargo containers I think that's unchanged but the um, the cargo uh, group is all uh, the same is all together now so we've got the barrels we've got the cargo crates and I've also put the shelves in as well so they're all in there again most of the time they're decorative you kind of flip between all of them so it makes sense to have them in the same group dead engineers is all the same conveyor junctions so I've also put this access point in as well so not all the access points, just that one, because that kind of, again, when you're doing this stuff, quite often you use the access point. Uh, I've also put the collector in, because I feel like that's a better place for it than being by itself somewhere. Again, in my experience, whenever I'm putting a collector down, I'm also using all these blocks, so why not in the same group? 
No changes to the pipes, we've already gone through this um, small one. Uh, the connector, I've also included the merge blocks in there as well. And the oxygen tank, I mean this is basically gas. So we've got the tanks, we've got the O2 gen, I've duplicated the hydrogen engine and then put the, uh, the what do you call those, oxygen farms and the vents. So again, all this stuff you kind of use together. So why not be in the same group? Uh, again, using them together, all the rocket launches and all these things, custom turret. So when you do the custom turret, you're going to need all these blocks. So why not? Uh, that's the same. Warheads is fine. Programmable blocks. Uh, again, you know, it's not a big group. Why not just have it like this? So that's what I've done. Uh, don't think I made any changes to that one. Nothing there, nothing there. Uh, I just figured pistons, hinges and rotors all in together. Again, why not? You know, it's not a block that we use all the time. And when we do use them, we quite often use them together in combination. Text panels are already in there. I just also put the emotion controller in there. Uh, those are all the same. Uh, I, I've condensed up the windows. So the 1x1 one one windows have also got the triangle versions. And same with the 2x2s. Two because they're not big groups. So yeah, that's the same, that's the same. Uh, that's the same again here the vertical window and then the small grid version which is the barred window so I thought it makes sense uh, the this is only a tiny little group with three blocks so I thought we'd put the bridge windows in with the half windows and the artificial masses in with the generators uh, and that's it I think so yeah that's my mod that's the changes that I've made uh, hopefully it makes sense um, but yeah, by all means, uh, give me some feedback either in the comments of the Steam uh, workshop or uh, in the Discord. I've, I've got a Discord thing happening. And uh, yeah, that's that. I tried to get the tools into a group, but tools don't work that way. Um, and yeah, and also I think everything's in there. I have had a couple of bugs where groups have dropped off or blocks have dropped off. Uh, I think I picked them up when it happened. Um, so yeah, if you do happen to see something missing, do let me know. But I'm pretty sure everything's in there, so um, that's my mod. Uh, thanks everybody for joining me. Again, any suggestions, put them through. And until next time, stay safe with everybody, and have a good one.